Hello, and thank you for your interest in the Impact Canada Cost of Corrosion Study. We are excited to work with both the preeminent anti-corrosion labor group in Canada and Canada's largest group of corrosion experts to bring you the findings in this study. The IUPAT and the NACE Northern Area understand the need to change the mindset that believes that the concern for corrosion mitigation belongs only to materials and corrosion engineers and those who maintain corrodible assets. Establishing a corrosion management system that is part of an organization's strategic planning is the way to increase return on investment related to industrial assets while increasing protection of the public and the environment. Canada has the technical and corporate and public policy expertise to make that happen. And this study will help to meet that goal. Canada has the world's ninth largest GDP by nominal, and the estimated annual cost of corrosion is $51.9 billion, which amounts to 2.98% of GDP. This is a staggering figure and one that merits continued examination and comprehensive plans and procedures to mitigate. The good news is that corrosion management and control systems are effective in mitigating and lessening this economic impact. With the increased risks due to aging infrastructure that includes risks to lives and the economy, it's imperative that we place a financial value to potential corrosion-related consequences and failures and compare that to the needed investment to safeguard this infrastructure and protect public lives, extend asset life, and protect the environment. Canada has long been a leader in environmental and safety practices, as well as strong corrosion prevention regulations and standards. This impact study is so important because it gets down to specifics on how communities and industries across Canada can lower costs and increase sustainability. Businesses in Canada must begin to change their corporate culture around corrosion. By utilizing the corrosion management system outlined in this study, we can reduce costs, help the environment, and build a stronger Canadian economy. Thousands of IUPAT members work in this industry. Even the best design bridge water structure, mm. anything, requires our members' skills. And tackling the issue of corrosion is something that the IUPAT with NACE and the newly formed AMP is something that is of a high priority to our members and to our industry. And that's why we are supportive of moving Canada's infrastructure in a way that has our members at the front of solving the problem. We really decided to participate with the 2021 Impact Canada study simply because the corrosion of vital public infrastructure, such as our water systems and transportation assets, impacts industries and communities across Canada. Our partnership with NACE is important because it makes a real commitment, I mean a real commitment from labor, management and industry to raise standards across the board. Asset-owned companies in Canada must become strategic in the way they predict and manage the likelihood and consequence of corrosion-related events across the entire life cycle of an asset, with thought given to the long-term return on investment. The Nice Northern Area is excited to be part of this study. The study brings attention to the operational and economic benefits of maximizing corrosion mitigation efforts in an organization. One example highlighted in the study demonstrates how the city of Vancouver gets it. They see the importance of incorporating corrosion management into its overall management strategy. In 2016, to effectively manage its 33 bridges, the city of Vancouver instituted a bridge coating operation and maintenance program to gain better control of their aging assets. They developed a comprehensive bridge coatings and maintenance program which allows more efficient planning and staffing, supports improved scheduling of maintenance work, uses industry best practices, improves budgetary accuracy, creates an accurate record of work completed, avoids unexpected shutdowns and inconvenience to the community, and most important in all public and private enterprises, it mitigates risk. Yes, the city of Vancouver gets it. And how has the program worked? 
they have been able to significantly decrease unplanned outages and failures through this comprehensive bridge maintenance program. This is a clear example which illustrates the positive operational and economic benefits that can be achieved when an organization embraces corrosion management processes and procedures throughout the enterprise. Canada is a global leader in corrosion expertise and with its government and industry knowledge, it is well equipped to seize upon opportunities to improve infrastructure while reducing both costs and risks. Visit nace.org slash impact Canada for more findings.